Hi folks, welcome back to Glossnaf Garage. Um, we are making a start on this build series of the Revel Razor Crest, um, and we are going to start off by doing a little bit of an unboxing video. So the box is massive. Um, I'm used to these tiny little card boxes. Um, this is like almost double the size. So I'm struggling to fit it in. My, my camera and stuff set up for filming uh, smaller kits um, so yeah have a quick look at the box here so you've got a lovely painting of the ship on the front there um, I'm sure you've all seen the Mandalorian by now excellent show um, probably my favourite of the modern kind of Star Wars stuff um, really really enjoyed it so nice wee picture of Din Djarin at the top there your know, Razor Crest this says it's a level 3. I think there's two versions of this kit. There's one that says level 3, one that says level 5. I'm not really sure what the uh, difference is, but um, this is a detailed enough kit. We've got 172 scale, 101 parts, and it's 33.7 centimetres long, so it's like a foot long. Um, it's huge. So, some pictures of the kit there, what to expect in the box, your usual kind of warnings and stuff like that. Um, nothing much to show on the sides, and it's the same on the back. On the back here, I've got a picture of the completed model, it's a tiny little Mandalorian, and a little bit of info on the kit, and your colours there, your reveal code colours, and just the usual bump on the back. Uh, so, if you give me a wee minute, I'll open the box up. Unfortunately, it's one of these Revell side opening boxes, which I cannot stand, but um, it is what it is. So, I'll get the box open, get all the stuff out of the bags, and we'll take a closer look at the what's inside. Right, so start off with a look at the instruction manual. Um, really nice instruction manuals from Revell, the full colour, A4 size. Um, Get your usual kind of warnings, how to build a model here at the front, and then all your colour call outs. The only thing I'm not keen on with the reveal instructions is the way they do their colours. Um, they're really spread out, and it's handier just to have a short list. Here's your colours, that's what you need. Your codes and stuff, so you can just quickly refer to them instead of scrolling th through trying to find which is which. And you've got a little sprue map here. The first couple of sprues, and then you're straight into the the sort of meat and potatoes of the build or the instructions. Sorry. So yeah, nice, clearly labelled. I'd say colour call out things are a bit of a pain, but other than that, they're really nicely done. Um, also, while we're here, I've got the decal sheet, which was inside the booklet. So these are for the markings on the side. You've also got some bits and pieces for cockpit and the interior. So you can build this kit um, if it is landed. So there's all the instructions for building the landing gear. You can also build it as if it is flying, uh, but personally I think I'm going to be building it with the landing gear down because you can display it with the uh, doors open and stuff and be able to see some of the interior because the interior is very detailed by the looks of things and I don't really want to hide it completely, plus I think it looks quite nice um, with the landing gear down. Right, so we'll get the first bag open. In fact, I'm going to keep this in the bag. You've got the clear sprue for your canopy at the front. Keep that in the bag so it doesn't get all scratched up. Here we've got the 
base if you're having it mounted uh, as if it's flying so it comes with a flight base here which is these parts are I'm assuming this part here now you'll have to forgive me because I don't really know the names of everything but I'm just going to basically show you through I think this is the landing gear sprue looks to be like the the feet and stuff like that for the for the landing gear when it's down Next up, this looks to be the engines. Yeah, I've got the front and back sections of the engines. And your rear gangway into the back of the ship but it unfortunately has razor crest revel molded in here so may have to remove that although i think it's on the underside so you won't really see it but we'll see yep some yeah engine sort of engine and wing parts i think we've got the main body of the engines Nice, well-defined panel lines here. Lots of detail. And there does seem to be some kind of little bit of rough finish on some of the parts. Just look in here. That's not too bad. We've got a tiny little gingerin absolutely tiny next bag here and get this open I believe this is the hull and interior parts so this will go on the inside of the body Yeah, so this is the interior, oops, the interior walls. Um, these look to be sort of part of the landing gear, I think, at the bottom here. And I think this goes in two floors. I think this is like the bottom floor, and then this goes on top. And then you've got the cockpit, um, which goes on top of that again. Uh, this is the main floor of the hold with your space toilet in the back there we're doing space jobbies little ladder here for getting between the two floors oh and yeah this is the cockpit at the front of the ship so there'll be the three seats here which i think may be on another sprue i've missed them but yeah so the next sprue we've got under this is the top of the ship. It's a really well defined. I'm not used to this, uh, these sci-fi ships and stuff. So to me, this looks really good. Look at all the detail, all the panel lines. I'm really impressed with it. And last but not least, we have got the main body. So this is huge. It's like a foot long. And yeah, it's got to need a good bit of space cleared in the shelf for this once it's finished. Yeah, the detail on it is fantastic. Really nicely moulded. Really impressed with it. There's a couple of little dips in here, which I don't think you'll even pick up in the camera, but it's like just where the the connecting points are in the inside there. It's like there's a, just a slight um, dip, but 
it's nothing major. I'm going to get in with a little bit of hot air primer and fill it in. Yeah, it's a really nice, nicely moulded kit. Uh, so yeah, that's all the parts that we've got here. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the kit. Um, looks really nice. I'm just kind of unsure how I'm going to tackle this. Like I said, this is all new to me. Um, so I'm not really sure on the process. Normally, if I was building car kit, get all the bodywork done first and then start working in the interior. So I might do the same thing, get the main body of the ship done, engines uh, and stuff, and then go back and do the interior. Uh, and then it gives me a clear coat time to settle and uh, harden while I work in something else. Uh, because I'm going to be doing a bit of weathering and stuff in the outside, so I need to make sure my clear coats look properly set. Um, and if I rush into it and do it too quickly, then that's when things start going wrong. But if I can get this all painted up first, get bodywork done, um, the exterior of the ship done, get that all finished uh, up to a point, clear coated, start on the interior, and then kind of take it from there. I think that's going to be my plan. But we'll see. So thanks for watching the video guys, um, remember to check out UMP, check out their YouTube, subscribe, this video along with the rest of the build will be going up on there as long as well as this channel but make sure you go check them out, subscribe to them, check out their store umpretail.com um, as I'll be using a lot of their products on this build and they were kind enough to send me the kit and the stuff to build it so yeah thanks for watching the video guys keep your eyes peeled for the start of the build and i'll catch you then cheers bye